Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I think I'm going to do another uh, conceal carry with me throughout the day type of video. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I have a situation that I want to talk about and I figured it's a good time to talk about it right in the moment. So anyway, I have errands I have to run today. And so I got dressed and I decided on wearing a belly band today because I'm having a day where I'm really struggling with all of my holsters. Um, I could not get anything to conceal very well in this shirt I'm wearing and, I'm, and it's kind of loose. It's not even a tight shirt. It's a shirt I've owned for years. I've worn this many times with my gun, never had an issue with concealing with it. And today, oh man, I went through so many holsters. I'm putting it in the front, I'm carrying it in the back, I'm moving the gun all over the place. I just could not get it to conceal in this shirt. So, um, yeah, I threw a belly band on so it would have more of a deeper concealment. And even with that, the handle of the gun is really being pushed out quite far and sticking out. And I was complaining to my husband about it. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? How am I going to conceal this summer? And what did I do last summer? Because I feel like it was so much easier to conceal and I've kind of been struggling with it the last couple weeks and he's like uh you've gained some weight <laughs> so uh yeah I have I've put on I know I've put on at least five pounds in like the last two weeks um I had something really horrible happen in my life and I've been really depressed so I have been eating my feelings and I've put on five pounds and it's making my pants tighter. It's making my shirts tighter and that's making um, it harder for me to conceal. Everything is sticking out farther. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's my problem. And yeah, so that is what I'm dealing with right now. Uh, I'm not really one to exercise and I don't really see myself not eating cake every day for a while because I just don't care. I'm not one of those type of people that really cares about weight. I don't I don't like monitor my weight. I don't really think about it. Um, and when I want to eat, I eat. So I'm not really going to do anything to change it. So I guess I'm going to have to work around it with um, my holster situation. I don't know. I got to find some sort of solution for this but yeah I'm really struggling today was a very difficult day for me to conceal and that being said I've got this belly band on I'm wearing my hidden heat lace belly band and uh, normally I love this thing never have an issue with it today I'm like tugging at it moving it I'm like oh this thing sucks it's not the belly band <laughs> that is the situation that's what's going on um so yeah, I thought I would just talk about this because, you know, I'm sure this is a problem a lot of us have. A lot of people fluctuate up and down with weight. I don't typically fluctuate. I'm typically about exactly the same all the time. Um, like I said, I'm going through something right now that's making me want to eat all day long. So I definitely am putting on some pounds. But um, yeah, so uh, I might check in. A little bit later and let you know how much more uncomfortable I am as the day goes on so yeah I hope you guys are not struggling the way I am today and I'll check in later okay guys this is literally probably over a week after I filmed the first part of this video uh, I had all intentions of really doing a concealed carry thing throughout the day like I had done before a lot of you guys seem to like that um, but the rest of that day was pretty crummy for me. Uh, like I mentioned, I had something really horrible happen. Well, actually, my mom passed away this month, and I'm having a lot of ups and downs. But I'm definitely having, you know, moments or days where I just do not want to uh, film or talk or whatever. So anyway, this is a week later. Uh, I kind of feel bad for not filming last Sunday because I actually did go to the nation's gun show in Chantilly, Virginia. If you live anywhere near here, um, I would really suggest going to that gun show because it is huge and it's amazing. 
Uh, had a lot of fun there. I got to meet up with someone that I follow on Instagram. Well, actually several people. It's a gun club from Baltimore and they're called the Second Liberty Gun Club. Uh, so that was really cool. We've been chatting a little bit back and forth on Instagram because I'm from Baltimore and they're in Baltimore. And, um, you know, we're both supporting the Second Amendment. I also got a new holster while I was at the gun show. Um, it's from a company that I got a holster from before. It's called Blue Line LLC, and I will leave their link down below. It's a husband and wife team. I think the husband is a former police officer. He has videos. Um, he has a YouTube channel also, and he does some videos with like uh, tactical shooting and defensive shooting, things like that. So I will leave all the information down below. Um, but yeah, I had gotten a holster from him before and they were at the gun show again and I got another holster for them. Uh, it's a really great company. They do really amazing holsters and he does a great job of uh, listening to, you know, your exact wants and needs and he will make a holster that fits that. So you don't have to just, you know, pick and choose what he has on the website. He's really great and, um, you know, it does a good job of listening and working with you. So yeah, I got a new holster for my SIG and there is a spider crawling on my phone. Ugh. Anyway, I'm out in the woods. As you can see, um, my son's up at the house mowing the lawn and it's super loud. So I had to like do a little hike out into the woods so, you know, I could talk. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. So anyway, I got the holster for my SIG and like I was saying, I'm having a hard time concealing with a lot of my holsters because I've put on some weight and um, and it's not just a problem with concealing it's I'm having a problem getting into my pants that's a huge problem in itself five pounds doesn't sound like a lot I certainly don't think it's a lot but it does make a difference in your clothing you can definitely tell the difference and um, so yeah everything is super tight and everything is showing. So I wanted two things. I wanted a holster that had a fabric clip on it. I'm pretty sure that's what you call it because I don't own one with one of those kind of clips. I do have one with the Ulti clip on it and it's nice, it functions well, but the clip itself sticks out pretty far um, on the outside of my pants and that shows in tight shirts and the fabric clip is um, has a much lower profile. I'll show you all this in a second. Um, but I also wanted one, another holster that has the claw attachment on it because I have one for my Glock 43 and it's great. I actually got it from the same company and I wanted the claw attachment on a holster for my SIG. So having the fabric clip with the low profile and the claw attachment really does make a big difference in um, concealability. You know, <laughs> when you're gaining weight or whatever, you know, it just seems to work really well. So yeah, that's what I got. I'll just go ahead and show you. Okay, this is what the holster looks like. Like that. Um, I just wanted to show you, this is the fabric clip. So this piece goes over whatever pants you're wearing. You can wear this with, um, you know, like yoga pants and um, you know, you don't have to wear a belt all that jazz and then this is the claw attachment I have a video where I talk about the claw attachment I'll try to remember to link that in like the info thing yeah so the fabric clip goes over your pants like this the claw attachment thing which is here goes right behind your pants like that and so it pushes this part of your pants out and pushes the gun in and it really helps with concealing I know I'm wearing a loose shirt today um, but yeah yeah if I pull this shirt tight you can see that the gun really is like pushed far against my stomach and not sticking out. Okay guys, I think that's all I'm gonna film for now. I hope you found this a little bit, uh, if not helpful, relatable in some way, because I know all of us, you know, um, have issues with different clothes that we're wearing or weight or whatever. So yeah, I just really wanted to talk about that because this is real life and this is what I deal with, so there you go. I uh, hope you all have a great week, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.